Vanspeed started out as a custom builder. Um, lots of different people would come to us with a napkin sketch of exactly what they wanted and that was the build that we would perform. Uh, with that came a lot of different issues that we couldn't foresee because it was building the you know, brand new layout for the very first time. So what we did was we designed platform builds specifically for different kinds of people in the van life community doing different sports, activities, skiing, snowboarding, if they had extra kids or needed you know, extra seating for passengers. And it allowed us to streamline the build process to get the build time down to only eight weeks. I'm Nate Murphy and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access the community all building their own vans at the same time. Before we dive into the interior, let's take a look at some of the exterior products that we offer as well. Uh, van speed sidesteps. One of our best selling products for probably the last three years now. Uh, these came out during COVID, right before COVID happened, and we couldn't keep up with the demand for them, which just expanded onto all these other parts on the van. Our customers were looking for another option to sleep sideways in their vans, so we created the van speed capsules to give a consistent depth throughout the space in the interior. Depending on how you finish off the interior of the van, it can give you about 10 extra inches of sleeping space. Let's check out the interior. We take a lot of pride in our fit and finish work. So when it comes down to every little detail at the end, we wanna ensure that it comes out properly and also that doesn't get overlooked in the extensive build process. This is our Evergreen Dream V2 layout on a 144 Sprinter, high roof. Uh, we have four models to choose from for the 144. This one highlights having two extra seats for extra passengers. It comes down from the wall by pushing the lever and then lifting up the backrest. Now let's go towards the back of the van. You're gonna have a two burner induction cooktop. So this is a great feature in the van because it doesn't produce heat if you don't have a pan on the stove top. Uh, you have your 85, drawer 85 refrigerator freezer. So the fridge section in the bottom, freezer section in the top, good space for all of your groceries. In a 144, space is super important, so we designed these kitchen cabinets to be as small as possible with also creating the most amount of storage as possible. You can see here, there's a good amount of storage space. You can fit pots and pans, cups, knives, utensils. They all have grab latches on them, so when they close, they click in place so that when you're driving, they don't slide out towards you. Um, under the sink, there's also storage space, including a six gallon gray water tank for anything that goes down the drain. We have the sink on this side intentionally so you can spin it around if you need to, shower off, spray anything down, clean cookware outside of the van before getting the inside of the van. And then also more prep space. Going towards the rear of the van, you're gonna have your dining area as well as your queen size bed. Now you have a full bed. Tons of great storage space underneath the futons as well as this side houses your batteries and electrical components, as well as an outdoor shower hookup. This van also has hot water, on-demand hot water system, so you can take a hot shower if you need to. That concludes the Evergreen Dream V2 layout. Let's move on to the loft. The loft is the only layout that we offer currently with an interior shower setup. Plenty of room to take a shower or even put a cassette toilet on the floor and also a privacy screen for all your needs. Coming out of the shower, we have our split kitchen, same as our Evergreen Dream V2, 360 degree rotating sink or faucet, extension flip up, storage drawer space. And then over on this side is gonna be your refrigerator freezer combo and your induction cooktop. 
The loft features a platform bed with tons of storage underneath for all your extra gear, as well as if you need to put a mountain bike. This particular build, we added our upgrade microwave to, so you can have easy cooking. This cabinet houses all of your electrical components. So you can see your water level, inverter, solar charger, air heater, um, hot water system, and also your water pump. This is a fixed platform bed that sits at this height to utilize the extra space from the capsule pop-outs. And then underneath you have tons of room for mountain bike storage or extra gear. Now moving to the back of the vehicle, there's tons of more storage space. This side is completely empty. And then this side houses all your batteries and electrical components, as well as an outdoor shower. Let's move on to our California coast model. This is our California Coast layout, one of our most popular layouts, as well as one of our original layouts that we offer in all of our platforms. This fan layout is great for couples, has seating for two, as well as sleeping for two, and has a nice open area that's super comfortable when you're on the road and you wanna hang out inside of the van. The bed system is super simple to operate. You have this dining area, and when you're not using it, you can transform it to make a full bed. This slides forward, the pole gets stored away in the side. And then your two back cushions fill in the empty space. Now you have a bed. Different setup than what we have in our other two layouts. This is our California Coast Kitchen, featuring your sink and faucet, tons of storage space underneath, an induction two burner cooktop, and your refrigerator freezer. All of your storage drawers can be found on the side, plenty of room for utensils, pots and pans, and cutlery. This storage drawer in the California coast is dual purpose. It serves as a table if you need to use it for outside. And also, if you lift up the lid, plenty of space for your bedding or any extra gear. The back of the California Coast has the most storage out of any of our layouts that we feature. You can see here tons of space, as well as longer item space, couple chairs in the back. And then on the driver hand side, we have all of our electrical components and our outdoor shower hookup. Thanks for taking a look inside these three van speed builds with me. We look forward to seeing you out on the road. You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a van conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, coming out soon, we have a course. The course releases in December, and if you sign up now, you get early access and a discount. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water, and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands-on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more, and thanks for watching.